Hello everyone, welcome to Toyin Talks. Ha! One man is more bad. One man, um, one year never marry. One little will be shake away. Ah, one year but two way. Koala to be on your toilet. Cause she talk accurate. Low year but one year not then. Cause she could be barely being you know. One year but if it is two things only away. Cause they are not cutting Ah, we just can't find him. No bunny more in time. Money money that we have to look. To you, lady. Thank you for watching. Till I will see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love. Wow. I just can't can go to one connect by Naira Mali for you. Only Naira Mali is a very wealthy man. Ah. But boy, I'm a poor one. Little low, dear low. One little low. I want to be business don't she? Only but so where will I be? A man just go there from my own world. Let me just read the write up to Kosita. Out there, they taking kafuni. I read. Naira Mali is a very wealthy man. Aside from Davido, Whiskey, and Bonner Boy, the three poster boys of the Afro by Afrobeat movement, which is now a global movement. It was said that no other Nigerian music musician comes close to him in terms of catch. In, in terms of cash, he is unbelievably liquid. In Lekki alone, he owns more than 100 properties, which he rents out. In Aja, he is one of the biggest landlords there, as he owns hectares of land, which he has yet to develop. The reason... He is that rich is not because he sings better than his colleagues. He does not join his colleagues who spend most of their time abroad doing music tours for Nigerians living abroad. He is an idon and does not have that time. His song had lived, so they had targeted at a niche. So not many people listen to him, by the way. Mm. <laughs> The reason why it is so is because it was said that he allegedly runs a, dr you know that that empire that, fun fun, empire. So he uses his voice to sell dash dash illegal dash dash, you know. I don't want to mention that in English. Um, Sino, one of the boys signed under him was said to be one of the moves that pushes dash dash for him before this buraha started a lot of young boys in the street loved him they want to be him so badly they want to associate with and identify with him that is why he has a group of deranged de delusional followers who call themselves malians at the peak of the general election in Nigeria, Naira Mali came to say that he had two billion billion naira in cash in the bank to give to any of the presidential candidates, and he was not joking. He met it. Since 2020, Aziz Fashola, known as Naira Mali, has not used commercial flights. Wow. Ah. He does not join the rest of us, plebs and commoners, to wait for our flights at the airport. He shattered private jets weekly and on average. You need $5,000 to $10,000 to shatter a private jet for an hour trip in Nigeria. Because of how unbelievable a liquid he is, <laughs> Naira Mali believed that nothing would happen to him. He has this philosophy that once you have money in Nigeria, you are protected by the state and a sacred cow. Wow. Hey. That was the confidence 
that gave him the other city to to hunt Mubad to death. Wow. He believes that nothing will happen to him. But Mubad appears to be the final bus stop as Nigerians have refused to give hope on the matter. Odudoro, because we can see placard everywhere now. They are posting, tweeting, talking, and doing anything to anything they can to find justice for the young man, and deservedly so. Today alone, the management of Splash FM, one of the leading radio station chains in Nigeria, has placed a ban on podcasting Naira Mali songs across all its stations, citing the ongoing investigation into the mysterious death of musician Mubaj. Another radio station in Ibadan, Agidigo FM, has banned all songs from Naira Mali, Malian's record on their radio station. Over 900,000 people have unfollowed Naira Mali on Instagram since this old madness started. Because of your outcry, Nigerian police were forced to set up a crack detective team to investigate the cause of Mobad's death. Naira Mali is learning for the first time and in real time that no, no matter how wealthy you are, your money will fail you and will not be enough once Nigerians in a great number gang up against you, which is happening right now. So, my dear people of Nigeria, let not give hope on our advocacy for one of us who was noble and had a pure heart, according to the accounts of those who knew him when he was alive. Mubad, we get justice. That is the depth we hold his soul and his memory. Come on, this is so nice. I pray may Mubad's soul rest in peace and get the justice that he deserves. Thank you for listening. Till I will see you in my next video. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I love you all. Bye.